Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this short tutorial, I want to show you a really cool trick to take a studio photo and change the background without doing complex masking. That's the before photo and that's the after photo. Let me show you this trick right away. All right, mesdames et messieurs, so I want to show you a really cool trick to make your portrait, your studio portrait pop with adding a texture. So here's a photo that I took of a lovely model um, in my studio and that's a shot the raw file right out of the camera. Now what I want to do is I want to put a texture but I don't want to have to go through you know uh, heavy masking. I want to do that very fast. So first of all I'm going to use the white balance to click on the wall to make sure that it's more white and the only retouching that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the highlights because I made the mistake of shooting this on white. I mean my first idea is I wanted to go for a high key look but then I have this idea I want to add a texture. If you want to add a texture the background is better be gray like this, not like this, not too white. So I'm bringing down the highlights to make this a little gray and I'm going to you know, bring in some black, some details and open up some shadows a little bit. Not too much, a very gentle retouching. Uh, here we can see some of my flash. I'm just going to crop the photo. That's the raw file, you know, straight out of the camera. And that's it. So uh, very little retouching and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go edit and open a smart object in Photoshop. I'm opening up in a <clears throat> I'm opening up this as a smart object in Photoshop because I might want to change it afterwards. So here I am in Photoshop and I want to blend in a texture. So first of all, where can you get textures? Well you can get textures wherever you want. I have a texture pack where I'm gonna give you a special promotion on that you can find on my website called Grunge Texture that I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you actually a few for free and you can purchase if you want the entire package. The link is gonna be below the video in the description. Uh, and I want to show you a really cool trick to uh, put your texture into Photoshop if you're a Critical Art member in a very fast way. So I'm going to go to the Grunge texture. Uh, that's what you would buy. I've imported this into Lightroom. And I'm not going to do that with everything, but I'm going to select just first five. But you can do that with all the texture. And you right click and you click Edit and Open as Layers in Photoshop. What that's going to do is it's going to open all your texture. Uh, in one file into Photoshop, okay? Now all the texture are open and there is a new option and that's only for Creative Cloud member. So I will show you if you're a Creative Cloud member or if you're not. If you're a Creative Cloud member, I would advise you to create, uh, first go to Windows Library, okay? And so you get this Windows open and I you can go here and create a new library. I already did, I called it Abstract Grunged. And what you do is you take the move tool, you take the f you, you're the first layer, you take the first picture, and you drag and drop it here in this library. And you do that for every texture. So now I can take this one out I've, and select the second one, click here, drag and drop it. And you can do that. Now you do that once and for all. Once you're finished with that, and this is what I did, I get a whole bunch of texture here. So now I can take the photo of my model and I can just, for example, take this texture and put it over here. Now you see the texture is very small at first because it's a smart object. And actually this one is this one is a very small resolution, but it's not a problem. I'm gonna make it really big as a smart object. And you know, I can blend it a little bit like this and press enter. So now the texture is here or command T to get it back. I wanna make sure I'm really over there. So now the texture is over uh, my model. Now, with the technique that I'm going to give you, I want to desaturate this. So for this, so you go to image, adjustment, U and saturation, and I'm going to desaturate that image. Or you can press command shift U to do it if you want it with shortcut, command shift U. Okay, now that's desaturated, I'm going to put this into overlay mode. And by doing overlay mode, it's going to mix perfectly. I don't have to do any masking. The problem is that we see some of the texture on her face, so that's fine. I'm going to uh, put a mask here, create a mask, and I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to use black as a foreground color, opacity 100%, and I'm just going to take out the texture on her skin. All right, now she has like a very special dress that is semi-transparent here uh, on the sleeve here. And you can zoom in to be more precise. But the good thing about it is you don't have to be too much precise. You know, just make sure you don't have anything on the skin. If you if you go overlay, you know, if you go over it, it's not a big deal. You know, just make sure there's nothing on the skin. And you see, like, the blending is just, like, perfect. Uh, in, you know, just a few brush strokes, I'm just taking this out. Now, 
where there is a bit and he, if you take too much you can press x to put it back x to take it out again you know but i do a really quick job here you see i want it i want some to come through so i'm going to lower the opacity really quick and i'm going to do just a little bit here i like the idea that we can see some of the texture because it is really a semi-transparent clothing and using a blending mode enables you to put in the texture really quick but the drama does not stop here so in a few seconds i did a mask you see where i let me show you the mask it's very approximated but you know it just blends really well so now i want to add even more drama so i'm going to press command alt shift e the worst shortcut in photoshop command alt shift e and one last minute of drama i'm going to go to filter camera row filter and on this one, I'm going because I love Camaro Raw, I'm going to take the radial circle here. I'm going to click on minus exposure so everything comes down to zero. And I'm going to make a nice circle uh, over her. And I'm going to click on outside. And I want to lower, I want to make a vignette effect everywhere. And I want to give it a little tint. So I'm going to add some yellow and I'm going to add some magenta. It's going to make it like a little tint effect like this. And what you can do also, you can right click and duplicate to make it even more stronger. On the second one, I'm going to make it a bit less. Okay. I can, you know, lower the feathering so it's not so much on her face. You can move it up if you want a little bit. I want to add more lights on her face so I can just click here, click on new. And this time I'm going to go into inside and I'm going to boost the exposure. And I just want to add a bit of light on her face. Voila okay oh i don't want the tint or the temperature even you know the, i'm adjusting the tint and temperature just for her face and voila i can go here and then i can click on the hand here to for the overall look maybe add a bit of contrast to the overall photo uh you know boost my blacks my white maybe it's a little too saturated now i'm going to lower a little bit the saturation and voila really fast a little touch up and if you think it's too much, it's on its own layer, you can lower the opacity and just doing a little bit. So it's just a really cool way to go from, you know, here, nice studio photo, add a texture, and boom, make the texture really dramatic. All right, now, if you like to play around with Photoshop, if you want to learn Photoshop, I just came out with my good friend Rico Riding with 10 new course. Yes, you heard me, 10 new course on Photoshop Composite. Let me show you what I mean. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. I want to present to you a good friend of mine, Rickard Rodden. Bonjour, Rickard. Hello. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being there. So Rickard is a photographer, a movie director. I love his shorts and a Photoshop guru. And I've been asking Rickard for quite some time now to create a composite project that I'm selling on my website. And so we're going to go through a few of these projects. Now, I love this project. You know, when I started learning Photoshop, I, the first thing I learned was how to extract someone. Yes. But then you start putting that person onto something else and it just doesn't match. Right, right. So that's what I like with your project is you're taking all these random elements and you're making into something that works. Yes. And, you know, we've had somebody brought in who has been using Photoshop for over 20 years. And he said that he did every single one of your course, right? Yes. He said by doing this course, he learned more than the 20 years he's been using Photoshop. So that's how powerful this course are. You know, and it's a great way to learn Photoshop. It's a very creative way. You know, it's a really a realization I had uh, 13 years ago when I started photography is one software, Photoshop, and a, and a camera, sky is the limit, right? That's right. So is this for beginners or intermediate? Um, it's definitely for everybody. Um, intermediate people are gonna have a faster time doing the courses because they'll already know their way around Photoshop and the shortcuts. But I do explain every shortcut and every tool that I use. So a beginner who picks up any of the courses will be able to go through the whole thing. That's amazing. And I can promise you once you've done with some of these projects, not even every one of them, but some of them, your knowledge of Photoshop is going to go from here to there and you will be able to create almost anything. And that's the beauty of this job. Sky is the limit and the imagination is your tool. Well, thank you so much, Rickard. Yes. And I can't wait for these people to see what you've been doing. Thank you.